Hello everyone and welcome back to the Visual Studio series. Uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss and learn how to create a new project in the Visual Studio platform or the Visual Studio IDE. Remember what IDE stands for? Integrated Development Environment. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. We mentioned that in the two previous lectures. Anyways, so in this lecture as we said that we are going to learn how to create a new project in the Visual Studio. So just open the platform and you will find this uh, welcoming page. Uh, I think it's a clear. Uh, you, 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 may not, you may see that we have the version of the IDE. I have the Professional 2013. I'm just using it because it's fast in opening, but it's definitely the same thing as the Visual Studio 2015 and the Visual Studio 2017. Uh, we may change to the Visual Studio 17 because I already have them. I have the Visual Studio 2015 and 2017, but I'm just using this uh, when I'm recording lectures because it's fast, faster than those. But we may change uh, when we start making big programs. So, uh, as I said, we just now opened the platform. So, uh, you see here we have the new project label. Click on it, or also you can uh, you can find the new project label here in the file list. The new project is the same thing. Or also you can use the shortcuts. Control Shift and then Control Shift N. Okay, you will get this window. In this window, you have to specify your project options. So, uh, you may use the Visual, Visual Basic language. Uh, it's one of the programming languages. Uh, you can use it to program your program. Uh, or also, may, you may use the Visual, uh, the Visual C Sharp or the Visual C++ or the Visual F, uh, F Sharp in language you want. Pick up one. I will use the Visual Basic then choose the type of program that you are going to make or you are going to program uh, or you are willing to program for example uh, you may want to program the windows forms application as we are going to learn uh, during this series or you may just want to create a console application or asb.net web application as you want you can use the visual basic for all of these uh, types of applications so I will use the uh, I will uh, pick the Windows uh, Forms application with the Visual Basic, and here you choose the the .NET framework you want to use or you want to work on. Uh, each framework have uh, unique things. For example, the .NET framework 2.0 uh, have I think less uh, types of applications than the 4.2. 4.5.2 uh, you see here we have more types of applications we can create with it so uh, and here in the name here where you specify your application name uh, for example our first project and here in the location you specify where you want to save your project okay just let us see at first After choosing the language and choosing the type of application you want to create and specify the name of the project and specify the place or the location where you want to save your application, click on OK button, few seconds and you will be ready to start programming and designing as well. So here we go, we have our project ready. So I hope that you benefited and enjoyed in this lecture. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave it in the comment below. It's going to help me a lot to improve the content. So, and see you in the next lecture.